Welcome to the Pooley's Meteorological Audio Book to aid pilots in preparing for their PPL MET examination and for pilots wishing to refresh their knowledge. Written by Helena Hughes, narrated by Helena Hughes and Sebastian Pooley. Disc 1 The study of meteorology is important to a pilot as weather is an issue that affects not only aircraft performance but also flight safety. In this audiobook, we will examine basic MET theory, enabling you to develop an understanding of the principles involved and how weather can affect your flying activities. A sound knowledge of the theories behind meteorology will help you, as a pilot, to make good decisions based on the forecasts and reports available. Unit 1. The Atmosphere. Structure and Composition. The atmosphere is the name given to the band of mixed gases that surround the Earth. The atmosphere is divided vertically into four layers. Most of what we call weather takes place in the lowest layer nearest to the Earth's surface. It is also the part of the atmosphere within which most aviation activity takes place. This layer is called the troposphere. The troposphere is characterised by a decrease of temperature with height extensive vertical movement of air and the presence of practically all the atmosphere's water vapour. Above the troposphere lies the stratosphere. The division between the two is called the tropopause. The tropopause occurs at a height of approximately 60,000 feet over the tropics and at around 20,000 feet over the poles. In the International Standard Atmosphere, it is assumed to occur at 36,000 feet. Some high-flying jets cruise within the stratosphere, the most notable characteristic of which is a cessation of temperature fall with increase in height. Temperature within the stratosphere is a more or less constant minus 57 degrees Celsius. The region is relatively devoid of weather phenomena, although occasionally large cumulonimbus clouds with very strong vertical currents may extend into the stratosphere. Just for completeness, above the stratosphere is the mesosphere, and finally the outer layer is called the thermosphere. The structure of the atmosphere is shown in Figure 1 in the sleeve notes to this audiobook. Air is a mixture of gases. It is composed of 78% nitrogen, and 21% oxygen. The remaining 1% is comprised of other gases such as argon, carbon dioxide, neon and helium. Air always contains some water vapour. In quantitative terms, from 0 to approximately 4% of the air by volume. The gas, water vapour, is invisible. It's also odourless and without taste. Water is added to the air by a process called evaporation. Possibly of even more importance to us as pilots is the reverse process whereby the invisible water vapour condenses into either a solid or liquid form. It is the process of condensation where water vapour changes to liquid water.